Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Xampro, and we're looking at projects and folders for Google Cloud. So a project in Google Cloud is a logical grouping of resources, and a cloud resource must belong to a project. So up in your navigation, you're going to see the project you're currently on. You can drop that down, change to another project, or uh, quickly and easily create additional projects. A project is made up of settings, permissions, and other metadata. A project can't access uh, another project's resources unless you use shared VPC or VPC network pairing. Resources within a single project can work together easily, for example, by communicating through internal network, subject to the regions and zone rules. Each Google Cloud project has the following, a project name which you provide, a project ID which you can provide or Google Cloud can provide for you, a project number which Google Cloud provides, as you work with Google Cloud, you'll use these uh, identifiers in certain command lines and API calls. So each project ID is unique across Google Cloud. Once you have created a project, you can delete the project, but its IDs can never be used again. When billing is enabled, each project is associated with one billing account. Multiple projects can have their resources usage billed to the same account. A project serves as a namespace. This means that every resource within each project must have a unique name, but you can usually reuse resource names if they're, if they're in separated projects. Then there's the concept of folders. So folders allow you to logically uh, group multiple projects that share common IAM permissions. Folders are commonly used to isolate projects for different departments or for different environments. We'll see more of this when we cover resource hierarchies, okay?